You don't know what goes on in a, a private apartment. You don't know what, what transpires up there. And when something like this happens, you're blindsided. Well, people in the village of Cuba are battling a major pest problem tonight. Officials say cockroaches from an apartment have now spread an infested part of the business district. News 4's Dave Graber has been in Cuba today to show us what's being done to get rid of these bugs. What's happening in the village of Cuba is something the county health department tells me they've never seen before. A portion of a rural village shut down because of an infestation of cockroaches. But it's something the county, the village, and area businesses are working tirelessly to exterminate and prevent from ever happening again. Village of Cuba workers spent part of their day Wednesday cleaning and clearing this portion of East Main Street, shut down because of a cockroach infestation. The village and county health department say the bugs migrated from this upstairs apartment, forcing businesses like the Copper Keg to close voluntarily. Even the sidewalks and the light posts are infested with roaches. This really didn't become what we determined an infestation until last Friday. There are, of course, so many. They were in other buildings, you know, so they've migrated to other buildings. They were out on the sidewalk, um, in the street. So that's definitely an infestation. Buildings are now surrounded by a white chalky barrier, as is this dumpster, one of two filled with contents from the offending apartment. The problem has been going on for months, according to officials, but every time they tried to address it, they were shut out. I believe there are people that are upset on how could it get this far. Um, those are those are questions that we'll dig into answers once we get this problem solved. But is that a frustration from a government perspective? That Absolutely, because now we have an entire business district on edge and uh, we have to incur expenses in order to um, stem this tide of infestation. Michelle Miller also tells me that she and the council will be coming together in the next few days to try to address the financial fallout of this infestation. She says the village may need to take out a short-term loan just to cover the exorbitant costs of this extermination. Reporting from the village of Cuba, Dave Graber, News 4.